International Red Bull and Makers Union, I'm the chief negotiator. Uh, basically in September of 2005, these people decided that they wanted to be Boilermakers and we had an election. The union won 47 to 2. Since that time, we have had 26 negotiation sessions, each one lasting a full day. We really haven't gotten uh, hardly anything from the employer. The, uh, the economics just hit the table. The employer flat will not move. We don't agree with that. These people are showing support uh, that I can't hardly believe. It's uh, absolutely wonderful to see them together. And they're here in the snow and in the rain and the cold. It's cold today. But they are here and they are together. The decision to go on strike was not the union's uh, decision. It was the decision of all the workers themselves. That's what really counts. They have made the, up their minds to do this. Of interest might be the fact that uh, over a 10-year period, uh, they've only gotten about 75 cents increase. Their average wage here is really, really poor, and they have the full and complete support of the Board of Acres International Union, and hopefully uh, we're going to uh, change the company's mind. Thank you very much. My name is Eric Burgos, and I represent the uh, Illinois Coalition for Immigrant Civil Rights, and I represent also the Immigrant Hub Center here in Aurora. And uh, I'm coming here for support of these people because I know these very hard workers. Uh, they are in very bad condition and very bad salaries, you know. And I want to show you all the community the support for the, all this family I know for many years. I'm Alderman Abby Schuler, Alderman of the First Ward, and uh, which this company stands here. And I'm out here today in support of um, these men and women who work at this company, who uh, today and for the last several weeks have been on strike. Um, I met I met a lot of them several weeks ago out here. They showed me their paychecks. They showed me their wages. I talked to these men and women. They need better wages. They need better wages in which to live, in which to put a roof over their their uh, family, uh, in which to send their children to college. They they told me their heartfelt feeling as to their dedication to this uh, to their employer here to their jobs. And they're just wanting fair wages and fair benefits. And they, these are good people that deserve these benefits and these wages and increases. So um, I'm out here today in support of them and um, hope that, that something can be worked out here. Um, that they're very deserving of it. Hello, my name is Stephanie Kifwood, Alderman of the Third Ward, City of Aurora. Standing out here today in the freezing cold with the Boilermakers. Uh, as a member of LULAC and as a member of the community, I feel very strongly that uh, people need to be able to take care of their families. They need to be able to provide health care for their families and, and, and they need to be able to make a, a, a wage that they can live on it. And it, it's just, uh, to me, very disturbing that people today are still scraping by with uh, piecemeal wages and, and uh, subpar uh, pay for, for the hard work and the long hours that they're, they're working. And so I'm here supporting the Boilermakers. Uh, definitely uh, in support of, of making sure that we take care of everybody in our community and in our city and that we really support and really work with the business community to provide functional wages, functional conditions, and, and just taking care of the people that work in our area. So with that, thank you very much. We will continue to be out here for as long as it takes to, uh, to get the job done. I'm here for supporting of the um, uh, workers here at uh, Fox Valley Forge, and I'm also uh, supporting. Uh, uh, my dad used to work here for many, many years since the 1970s, and um, he retired from here. Well, actually, I'm a chiropractor. I actually went to medical school, and uh, I'm now practicing here in the community, helping uh, uh, the Spanish people. I'm Wayne Biles. I'm president of the Association of Professional Police Officers. Uh, in, in Aurora, and we are out here to support these workers. Uh, we believe that they, they have a right to have a fair wage and be treated with the respect and dignity, and so we're here supporting them. Uh, we, uh, we understand that uh, 
they're willing to negotiate in, in good faith, but evidently the company is not willing to do that. So we're just standing out here saying we're supporting them, and we'll be coming back day after day, and we'll be bringing a bunch of other people. My plans is to get the other unions in this uh, area involved and supportive of these laborers here. I'm Dr. Monica Silva from Aurora Township. I sit on the board of Aurora Township as a trustee, and I'm here at Fox Valley Forge to lend my support to the strikers and in support of fairness and justice. Uh, in negotiations, we never, no one should ever come on top. No one should ever feel that they have the winning hand. In order for uh, the great city of Aurora to function, we need hardworking individuals and businesses that are providing goods to export outside of Aurora. And I believe that we're doing that when we come to an agreement on what fair wages are and fair working conditions. So I'm here to lend my support to them and I pray that everything goes very well for both parties involved. I'm Gabriel and I'm, I'm Miguel's son and I'm here to support my father and all the workers of Fox Valley Forge uh, during the strike. Um, they're a great bunch of people that I've grown up with over the years and and they're hardworking, they're loyal and just great people that that just want their respect that they deserve. And uh, I think everybody deserves the better uh, benefits and deserves better, better uh, salary. And these employees have so many years in here. I know some people working in here for seven, 37 years, 35 years, 25 years, and I still make $11.50, $11.89. So that's not enough. Um, I think uh, it's the right time to be in, uh, in a strike to um, try to force the empo employees to pay the, the benefits. And uh, it's, it's, you know, this is very um, support for all the aldermans and uh, people from the community support these uh, employees in here. Uh, because I need, they deserve the, sh the, the benefits and deserve a better salaries. Alex Arroyo, uh, member, uh, chairman of the Ordo Democratic Party, and also the a member in good standing of the Communication Workers of America and the Association of Flight Tenants, and out here supporting my brothers and sisters at the Boilermakers Local 1600. Hi, we're here to uh, work with the strikers. We're here to signal the Mayo celebration, the first time it's happened in the Aurora ever and uh, we're real proud to be a part of it. The strikers of uh, Fox Valley Forge were especially uh, visible here. Uh, they were helping clean up and they're helping all the work to do. They're real good people, they're good American citizens. We have been negotiating with the company now for got almost two years now, over 18 months, and uh, we've got no work with them. And it's, we need the support of the community even more than what we've got. Although we've had excellent, excellent support from most of the community of Aurora. Um, we need also to make the people understand that we are here to work, we want to work. However, going without a raise for you know, 10, 11, 12 years sometimes, it's kind of hard. And the company, all they want us to do is pay more insurance, a bigger part of our insurance, and they don't want to recognize the people as hardworking people. They uh, keep saying that we don't produce. However, they people should know that uh, the company just does not give raises. They are probably the lowest paid industry in that type of industry anywhere in the United States. And uh, all we do want is a halfway decent living so we can send our kids to school so we can be, pay our taxes and uh, contribute to the economy of the uh, of the town and in the city. So I'm just saying to the owner of the company to please help us out and give these employees what they want so we can go back to work and continue on with our lives because we want a better future. Mm -hmm.